guys so it's rather unfortunate that i'm now looking for my source of light where i can post my light uh, here or nowhere here or nowhere i think here or away all right so today we have a very simple video let's go Oh my god! What are you talking about? You're reminding me of my past. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see from the previous video, <laughs> Melvina, Roland, and I found ourselves. We found ourselves in a very uncomfortable situation. If I say an uncomfortable situation, what do I mean? In a in a place where we're playing a lot of circular music, lots of circular music. Now, if you're asking me why I'm saying it's an uncomfortable place, I'm saying that because I believe that as Christians, circular music is not healthy for us. So if I find myself in a place where the place is concentrated with secular music. That means that it's not a comfortable place for me. It's not a hell. It's not a healthy place for me. It's a toxic place for me. Why? <laughs> 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 So let me give a little bit of that story and as to how we found ourselves in that particular place. I mean, a friend of ours, a friend of me, Venus. We are all friends with a the girl. They were doing a yard sale at Confanochi. She wanted us to come and help her with selling the things and carrying things around. So we didn't have any options. She went. But now the question is if I go there, what should I do? As a Christian, if I find myself in a place where they are playing lots of secular music, what should I do? The Bible says that let the word of God dwell richly in you. When you read Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. That's what God is saying. That is why Christians do not find secular music as healthy to our spirit. You cannot entertain secular music around you like that. I decided to post this on my Instagram story so that I'll, I'll, I'll get to know what people, you people think. And I got some few responses. I just want to read them right now. So someone said that you plug in your earphones. Someone said that, or oh, when you go to Rome, <laughs> you do what Romans do. Are you cool, Mitchell? Someone said, just jam to your favorite gospel songs using earpiece. Eh, that's not bad. Someone just, um, someone said, I just bass and turn red, let most paper blue. Please come and explain. You don't understand. And someone also said, this is why an earpiece is essential. Say that if I don't have to be at the party, I might just leave. It depends on the song and the crowd. I have danced before and it was family and friends. Hmm. To be honest, I just endure. I choose not to go. Or I chose to go. Okay, I chose to go, so it's on me. But I try not to stay too long. Will I dance? Well, that's one, one person said, I will explain. I want to intentionally go somewhere. I'm not comfortable. If I'm at a party like that, it means the person we are celebrating or whoever invited me is very important. It's never about the music. I'm there to eat. I'm there to socialize. I'm there to have fun and create conversations. I will have a good time and go home. I will still have my principles intact. Type what you think in the comment section. And the first the first solution i'll give you is that if you if if you think you're not needed at the party don't go that's all if what you're going to do is not really necessary it's not really important don't go don't go just sleep just sleep sample just go there don't need she yes so we call At the point you see that Melvina couldn't, she couldn't miss if I could at the point. They were playing some old classicals that I mean I'm an instrumentalist. When you play the beat and the beat is entering me, Charlie, I cannot stand. You guys, I'm not doing this again. Guys, please, don't try this. Don't try this. I tried it so that you don't have to try it. 
in some situations there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing you can do about not going to the party there's nothing you can do about not going for that event your uncle is marrying your uncle is doing a party your auntie is doing a party 50th anniversary all those kind of things your friend is doing a party your friend's parent your friend's father is doing something you have to go and be there there's nothing you can do about it you can't lie like you can't do anything about it thing when you go there be busy get something get something to do like get something to distract you if you look at melvina roland and i as we went to the party we went there to go and help the girl with a number of things i was helping her sell the cocktails that she was selling melvina was helping her fry the fries and the gizzard and the pork and the chicken and all that roland was also creating content for her by taking videos of the happenings around her shop so we're all doing things for her we're getting busy we're doing things like so so that what so that the song will not enter her like we get busy so we distracted and then finally they played one gospel and we're happy and then they, they, they just changed the song <laughs> or assuming that not there's nothing to do about the event and you went there you couldn't get busy because the party you could just couldn't find anything to do then my dear i suggest i begin to think about the love of god begin to Yeah, if you can see me, then you need to get some Jerome so that you can see me. Oh yes, uh, all these things are here. I'm saying all these things to help you because life happens and there are situations that happen that you can't do anything about it. You can't say you can't go, you can go for your uncle's party. You can't even go for your friend's father's something. Charlie, you have to be dead since. <laughs>